Now then, and welcome back to another episode of Forever Stranded. Stranded with Nemson. Quite late on in the series now, aren't we? Quite late on in the series, we're, we're no longer stranded. We are now... Uh, own, well, we're, we're only floating around in space, aren't we? We're not stranded at all. Now we've taken our ship from the stranded planet, which is not that planet down there. Uh, but the stranded planet, we've taken it from there and we've uh, built our, a way to get our space shuttle back up into space. We've turned it into a warp-driven space station with um, a very basic habitat area that I haven't yet done much in. But I built it on the side there, ready for the basis. I just wanted to kind of make these look symmetrical and sort it, sort it out a little bit, or asymmetrical. Uh, and we've got rockets and travel and all that kind of stuff to look forward to. Now, I have... Uh, I, uh, previously, we travelled... We travelled to the um, distant gas planet. It looked like a gas giant, in fact. Uh, and if we have a look here, select planet. This over here, Sol 3, looks like a giant gas planet. And there's no landing on gas planets, I find out. So I decided to move a little bit to one of the planets that is more Earth-like and looks like an Earth. Some sort of planet that we can land on, right? And so I've gone to Sol 14. I don't know exactly what's down there yet because we haven't been down there. And also, people have been suggesting that this warp drive should go closer to the engine at the back. Or closer to the engines at the back. So maybe I need to do something with that a bit later on as well. Maybe change that around. Maybe put the warp core actually in the space station. And make it so that the shuttle kind of docks here. I don't know. I think the original concept I had was that uh, each of these space stations is built the same. Like this part is a space station built the same. And the shuttle travels from one space station to the next. I think that was my plan originally. Now... There's a few testing things to do today because, well, that's a new planet down there. We need to go and see uh, that new planet. We also need to see if this space elevator shuttle type thing has anything going on. It might actually take me from here to my other homeworld because it's only got two destinations in it. A space elevator. So it might send me over to my other planet. I'm back out here, like an instantaneous transfer back to my home world. Or it might be selectable. I might be able to select multiple selections. There's also a teleporter pad um, from Ender.io, which we've used before. And also super teleportation frames, which I've used before. Both of those methods are reliable enough. And I've used them before. And I'm okay with using them again. Uh, but I wanted to try something different to this series, so we tried the actually, the actually, we tried the actual advanced rocketry mod stuff instead, right? And it's been working quite nicely, yeah? But there are other options. Other teleportation systems are available, right? Super teleportation frames and all that kind of stuff. I've used these a lot in the Banish series, and I use that in the Avant 3 series a lot as well. Plus RF Tools is kicking around, but it's not in this pack. There's also a teleporter from Industrial Craft, which I've never used, and I'm not going to get into Industrial Craft in this season, just because I'll save it for another season. Uh, and then there's the Actually Editions Teleport Staff, which I don't think I've ever used. Looks pretty cool, though. Maybe I'll get around to that, but it's not really a, a magic mod type place. This is science, people. This is science and advanced rocketry we're doing today. Uh, so I've been discovering how to get down onto this planet to do a little bit of running around, right? So I've got my full kit on. I've got my angel ring, my uh, sword, my stuff, my bits and pieces. I'm happy enough that I can get back up again. Um, my rocket ship should be fueled, yes, and ready to go. And so long as I've got the station ID chip in here, this should literally take me down to the planet and back again. So this is now setting off to Sol 14. So we are setting our sights on leaving the space station. Wow, it's all very magical. Something new is going to happen today. What do we got? It's a breathable atmosphere. Uh, and the atmosphere type is 0.59. I don't know. I can't remember whether that's anything like the planets that we were on before. 
and I also don't know how temperature's going to work in this either. Let's uh, tan, tan temp info, and let's see what we get target wise for the temperature because we can keep that going at the same time. See what sort of planet we're going to land on? Uh, well, it looks like a normal vanilla style planet. Good. And I may be landing on a, a rocket area. Uh oh, battle tower. Uh oh, I just I just landed straight past the battle tower. That's not boding well. I'm landing next to a tower from uh, the runes mod. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, what we got? <laughs> a big plume of smoke where we landed. Battle towers galore on these planets. Great. So uh, various planets with battle towers on them. But we see grass and greenery and water and things. Oh my days, look at this. It's actual water. It's only actually water, in it? First time for a long time that I've seen only actual water around. Uh, like so. Excellent. There we go. <laughs> Splashing around on a whole new planet. I have escaped the smelly desert world. And now we're on. We're on to uh, running around a little bit. Let's see what we've got over it. So, my my days. This is kind of a weird looking crater area. We've got the planet stretching out before us. And uh, I need to find one of those new trees. That would be great. That's the quest thing. I've got to find it. Find a quest tree. Uh, and this does not look like it's one of those kind of planets. This looks like it's more of a, a vanilla biomes type planet. So let's see about getting back up. Um, I can only surmise that we need to go to a special planet and figure out where that is in order to find the quest thing that we need. Because it's a particular tree that we need. It's this particular tree. Uh, find a planet that is like Earth. You have travelled far and have from nothing to space. You've done well to get this far. Now it's time to make your new home planet. Good luck. Lightwood sapling. I don't know where to get a lightwood sapling from. Right? I don't know where to get it from. I don't know if they do exist in vanilla worlds. Like just randomly exist in vanilla worlds. Or whether or not I can... Oh, I have to do something else to go to a different special world to get to them. Okay, so I've had a little wander around to see what's going on on this planet. And besides the various, 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 various battle towers around, there's also a lot of these, um, like, mysterious, like, circular shapes of areas. Like, almost craters. There's another crater bowl over here which I saw, which was very cool looking. The water is all a bit misshapen. It's kind of like weird terrain generation. But uh, I've, I've just spotted there's another one over here as well now. And I didn't realise because I didn't travel to that one close enough. There's a lot of these little circles going on. And I don't know if that's something to do with the, the mod pack or what. There's another one there with a battle tower into it by the looks of it. That I've just circulated around. Uh, I don't know exactly what's causing it. Uh, and it's intriguing, but I think I'm going to go to another planet because I don't see any obvious signs of this tree that I need to find. Um, and because I can't find a lightwood sapling, then I'm going to go off to another planet and see what we can find over there. Um, and if I see some more of those circles, then I know it's something to do with terrain gen and I might investigate a little further. Okay, so this planet looks pretty cool. It's got moons, so not only has it got the normal Minecraft moon or sun up there, but it's also got some crazy looking cool moons. It's pretty nice looking, pretty nice looking. I am landing on a planet's surface. I have no idea what this planet's surface is going to be like. It, it looks very green right now. Looks very green. Could be anything though, couldn't it? Could be anything. I literally don't know. This is Sol 6. Uh, it looks looks once again very vanilla just a very green foresty vanilla uh, not landing near anything hostile or super hostile this time at least there's something I can uh, I can deal with that the savannah though uh, I'm landing on top of a tree is this a good thing um, 
I've landed on top of a tree. Oh, look, you can see the moons from down here. They're pretty cool, having the moons in the sky. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Okay, so where do we go from here? Is there is there something? Oh, it's breathable atmosphere. This is good. Let's take that off, and then we can uh, keep our temperature in check. But other than really cool-looking terrain and stuff, it's not immediately telling me that there's going to be some kind of um, lightwood tree around, is there? So, I'm going to have to do a little bit of exploring. I don't know if it's a new biome type or something that we have to look into. I have no idea. But it does look cool, these new worlds. These new worlds are very cool looking. But what have I got here? Mining fatigue and slowness in this world. Oh, okay. There's some special world type effects as well, which is cool. Uh, I do like that they've got some great big mountains and waterfalls. And it's kind of cool looking. Yeah, it's kind of cool looking world. Um, it's a strange kind of slowness and mining fatigue effect though, which gives us a, a weird kind of a feel about stuff. Yeah, I don't like this planet so much. I'm not going to spend much time exploring this planet, I don't think. I don't think that's a good plan. I think it's time just to head straight back up and try a different planet. Soul 6 is not for me. Okay, so we have looked at two of these like earth-like bodies right uh earth we've been to soul 14 and soul 6 we're on soul 6 at the minute and we've also been to soul 14 and they're both vanilla -y, yeah so i know that this is a gas giant we've been to soul 3 that's a gas giant so there's like a mars-like planet and a moon-like planet over here i think i'm testing out those now instead of going to all the other soul which are kind of like vanilla these kind of vanilla ones we need to go to one of the other planets and see if we can find the tree type so i'm thinking that one right it's actually got no pressure um i think that is pressure that is no pressure so those have high pressure so that has atmosphere this does not have atmosphere if it hasn't got an atmosphere, then the chances are it hasn't got trees. This type here has got an atmosphere, so the chances are it's got trees. So a Mars-like planet with an atmosphere. Uh, yeah, moons do not have... Yeah, okay. I th that's a, just a space. That's just space. Is that an actual place where we can land? It doesn't feel like that's a place that we can land. Okay, well, we're going to go to Sol 5. Let's try Sol 5, right? It could be, or it might not be anything. Uh, let's just select it, okay? So, Sol 5 is a destination. Also, right, I did have the warp controller on this wall, and I kept on going in this direction. Now, I've put the warp controller on this side, facing this way, and we should see that the warp drive takes us in the right direction, which is awesome as well. And so we very quickly will end up over here. Zip. And there we are. Okay, easy. <laughs> I like piloting my uh, my ship across. And oh look, we've, we've managed to secure ourselves in another space station. Now, another thing I was checking was uh, waypoints. Uh, the space station waypoints seems to... Seems to ooh, wow, that looks cool down there. Uh, seems to hold its location. So even though we have just moved our space station, the journey map has kept the location here like this. So I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, uh, this is a strange new planet to explore. Strange new planet to explore. Uh, I think I'll have a quick top up of oxygen and make sure that this is full of fuel. Yes, it is. And uh, go for a little trip down to Sol 5. Be there in a minute. Okay, this one's pretty yellow. It's got that. It's got that real Mars yellow atmosphere look to it. Oh man, um, I can already tell that there's not much uh, in the way of trees. Uh huh. So uh, what do we got over here? Nothing. So there's not likely to be a tree around here, is there? 
Unless they're somehow underground trees. Now that I hadn't explored the notion of. There are underground and it's just normal caves under the first few layers of oxid oxidized, oxidized ferric sand. Okay, what can we do with oxidized ferric sand? Uses. Uh, no uses. No uses whatsoever. Okay, boom. Uh, I was looking to see if there's a way to find information out on the lightwood sapling. The only thing that we're looking for find, uh, to finish off our quest is the lightwood sapling. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. But there's a few of these, these circles again. Could these circles have anything to do with what we were seeing on the previous maps? Like formations of something or other. Uh, this is special rock. Geoid, geoid rock. Uh, looks like effective tool jackhammer. Harvest level diamond. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, so I can't actually get into it even. Uh, but they could, those, those could have created the, kind of the circles on the map. Well, I'm going to have a, a little wander around. And uh, I'm, first of all, I'm going to mark the location of my spaceship to return journey home. Uh, but I'm going to have a little wander around just to make sure that there's no other biome types and wonder about that. Okay, so that didn't work. Sol 5 did not work. We've been around this place now. My next option is to check up on somebody else's video. So I've been over to Duncan Webb's site again and had a look. And I, I see that he visited Sol 40 in order to do it, right? Sol 40 is not within the Earth area, like So it must be in a different place. In the galaxy far, far away, there are one, two, three, four, five different solar systems available to go to. Wow, that's pretty epic already, isn't it? But it's Epsilon. I think we looked at Epsilon before. We go to that, have a look at the... Go into here. And then Sol 40 is this one out here, which looks a little bit like one of those moons that we had previously. It's got the, the no atmospheric pressure. So we were looking at one of those earlier. But this is the one that Duncan Webb went to in order to get the sapling. So that is the one that we are going to select. It's going to cost us 500 fuel to warp there. Wow. Okay, well, let's just double check. Make sure we've got 500 fuel in here. Uh, I'm going to go around this way. Can I, can I have a look in here? Let's have a look at that. 40. 47 even. And do we have access to dilithium? Can I... Craft another 100, please. Start crafting. Is it going to actually craft while I'm up here in the space station? Yes, it is. It's going to craft while I'm up here. Awesome. So I'm in a different... I'm in a different solar system and my crafting is still working and my quantum network bridge is still functioning right. Okay, let's let's go to Sol 40. Let's a warp. I really hope nothing goes wrong because I've done a lot here. And to get this far and then to crash or break, it's going to be very difficult to stomach. I'll have to go back a fair ways through backup saves. I should probably make another backup save before we go down to another planet, actually. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Um, is the planet looking... Oh, man, that planet's looking really weird. That's kind of like a glow look to it. That looks like the sapling. That could be the place, then. Let's have a little look, shall we? Let's see what it's like on the surface oh yeah there we go look already we could see the blue terrain of a new biome type it's gotta be gotta be the place gotta be the new biome type let's see how fast we can go and grab some stuff okay we're off we're away i do like looking around these new worlds new worlds is part of the 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 bonus of things isn't it new worlds in minecraft is part of the cool stuff and we're getting to the point now where it's going to need to be a new world soon oh new biome type very weird looking wood um kind of fps -y. weird as well maybe it's the textures looking a bit odd there is a lot of flickering going on of these textures not really sure what it's gonna do but it's also loading in other places around the world but still 
Oh, it's also raining in this area. Okay. Well, it says it's breathable atmosphere. Does that mean I can take my suit off? Uh, it does mean I can take my suit off. I can break the leaves. Slowly but surely. Really, I'm going to have to break them all really slowly. In order to get a single sapling. All my days. Okay, well... I might be here a little while. This might be this this might be an epic quest of harvesting a million trees in order to get one sapling. I suppose I could try getting the wood first. Um might even be able to see a sapling or something down on the ground somewhere that hasn't grown. That's been generated in but hasn't hasn't actually grown. And the wood is really looking really weird looking kind of cool but at the same time angled a bit funny makes it look a bit weird because it's got the rings on the sides of the blocks but that's okay it's okay it's okay uh, let's just harvest some wood and let's see what we can do with the wood uh, can I actually I can punch wood I can punch wood in this new world this is good can I turn that into planks yes I can and can I turn that into a crafting table no okay so what use is it? The wood is no use to me. I, I, I feel like I should just go and make a crook. So let's just go over here and get this uh, tree. Make a crook and come over and sort it out. Sort it out. Get more chance of getting a sapling. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes. Awesome. Quest complete. New home. Jobs are good and... <laughs> new, new quest update. New home. Do I get another quest after that? New home quest update. Uh, get extra life, loot chest, nether star generator, dragon's breath cartridges. Claim done. Completed. Yes, I have completed the mod pack. <laughs> I've completed Forever Stranded. I am no longer Forever Stranded. I, I would like to see that my temperature is getting freezing cold in this area. Freezing cold, what's going on? If I put this back on, will I, will I improve my temperature? Tan, temp. What's the temperature of this biome type? Hey, give me that. Temp info. There we go. <clears throat> Target four. Oh man, no wonder it's freezing out here. It's freezing out here. I tell you, it's freezing. So we better finish up this episode. Thank you all very, very much for watching this episode and this season of Forever Stranded. I do hope you've enjoyed. I've enjoyed getting to this point. It's been a proud achievement. To get all the way through the advanced rocketry mod and survive forever stranded as well just surviving forever stranded was fun going into a new mod that i'd never touched before the uh, advanced rocketry mod that was also very fun getting all the way through to the end game and traveling through the galaxies which is amazing and there's still more to explore and i may do that off camera just to see what else there is in this mo uh, mod but finding other biomes and other planets and new places to explore and having them all linked together through one mod is pretty awesome. Reminds me a lot of like the Miscraft worlds and stuff like that. It's always great fun to go and explore new worlds. To boldly go where no one has gone before. But therefore, that is it. That is all we've got time for today. And that is the end of Forever Stranded Season. Thank you very, very much to GW Sheridan for making this wonderful mod pack. For all of my supporters in the comments down below have given me lots of words of advice and wisdom. And thank you all, the viewers, for watching and liking the episodes. I will see you in the next series of Minecraft, whichever you choose to tune into. From now on, no longer stranded with Nemson. Goodbye.